The meme coin market is nowhere near in the frenzied state that it was last Friday as Pepe was hitting all-time highs, investors were jumping in, the craze seemed like it was just beginning, and then... Well, things begin to fall back down. And very quickly, people shift from this FOMO mentality to, oh my gosh, everything is dead. Now, we're going to be talking about that because there are a couple of signs right now that do show the hype and excitement is, in fact, dying down on Pepe and other meme coins. We're going to look at those numbers, but we're going to be looking at, at some others as well that show that this may just be a little bit of a consolidation phase, and we might see the next leg up on Pepe and other meme coins, because you have to look at the numbers, right? The numbers don't lie. People are emotional, but numbers are factual. So let's talk about it. If it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. Let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2023 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day. We are growing our portfolios together. Now, look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you get a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and a $1 crypto trade is going to get you $5 in free crypto. If you guys want crypto exclusive exchanges where you can buy, sell, trade, short, leverage, all that good stuff, you get KuCoin and Binance down there. Now, KuCoin and Binance, they offer awards for the more active traders. So the more you trade, the more you're going to earn. But please be aware, if you guys are holding on those exchanges or if you're trading or buying or using a bot to trade Pepe on those exchanges, it is going to be considered a loan to those exchanges. So if you want to mitigate the risk of holding on a centralized exchange, you need to look at a cold storage or DeFi wallet. Now, guys, let's go. We got a lot of numbers, so we're going to jump right into those numbers. Uh, first of which, I want to talk about price action and in volume. Now, Pepe, it is a multi-billion dollar coin now, touching on Friday, like $1.7 billion market caps, dropping down to where it's currently at around a market cap of $727 million. So just under that million or billion dollar number and, and losing some action, losing 5.94% on the day today. Down over 50% from the all-time high that was reached just a couple of days ago on last Friday. And people are claiming that Pepe is dead. The same coin that they caused so much excitement just a couple of days ago. The same coin that is trading at a $727 million market cap when last month it was worthless. Right? This is the same coin that people were celebrating not even a week ago. And now they are saying it's dead because it has given up half of its value. But it is still worth nearly $1 billion. People are still buying it. Let's look at the volume here. $483 million traded in Pepe today. This is more money than was traded in Dogecoin. This is more money than was traded in Terra Luna Classic. This is more money traded than many, many other coins in the cryptocurrency market right now. It is a massive, massive, uh, uh, it's volatile, yes, but it is a massive amount of money to be traded in any cryptocurrency, let alone one that is only a couple weeks old. So $482 million is a good sign, but it is low. All right, Pepe, the volume is down 24% on Pepe over the last 24 hours. Now, here's some good news, here's some bad news, all right? If you see a price declining the way that Pepe is and the volume is going up, that could be a very good indicator that traders are selling off and they are selling off quickly and that's why you're having an increase in volume as the price goes lower. People are panicking. They are trying to get out. But that is not what we are seeing right now. We're just seeing a little bit of a consolidation period. Volume is lowering as the price is falling. So volume is down 24%. Yes, that's a big decline. But the price is only down 5.90% today. So the fact that the price is not shooting lower could, and I have to emphasize the could, because it's not just Pepe that's like this. You never fully understand where volume is coming from. 
This could indicate that traders are simply trying to find a bottom. They are they're easing off a little bit. They're pulling back. They're allowing the price to consolidate right now around this 1500 or 150 point per coin mark to 200 point per coin mark, 15 to 20 on Pepe. And we are right there in the middle at 1856 at the moment. What is this? Five zeros and an 1856 on Pepe right now. It does indicate that Pepe may be trying to find the support level and it may have found it. Now, one of the other things that you need to look at on any coin is whether or not it is growing. And I will tell you right now, it is not growing at the pace that it was last week or two weeks ago. Pepe was adding like 5,000 wallets per day, and that has slowed down a little bit. But the good news is Pepe continues to add holders. The current amount of holders on Pepe, 108,067. This is a 0.72% increase from the day before. And the day before that, it increased as well. So over the last, I would say, four or five days, it's been unfortunate to only add about 3,000 wallets. But we have added 3,000 wallets. Now look at that for a minute. Pepe is had it, has added roughly 3,000 wallets as the price has declined. What does that tell you? Well, I mean, in and of itself, not necessarily anything. It's just, you know, just a number. But people are buying the dip. The amount of holders are going up as the price is falling back. Means that new people are joining the game and new people are buying Pepe right now. A lot of people could be buying Pepe that aren't considered in this number right here on places like KuCoin, Binance, Crypto.com. I think I saw an email today that Gemini added Pepe to their list. Pepe is getting major centralized exchange attention and major centralized exchange listings. And therefore, the, the amount of uh, blockchain wallet addresses that are holding Pepe may not be increasing as fast because people have an alternative to hold on the centralized exchange that they trust. So all in all, guys, the numbers show you that Pepe is not dead right now. Pepe is simply trying to find where it's comfortable in the price action. The volume is down, but the price is stagnant. The holders are growing along with the amount of people that are also holding and trading on centralized exchanges. So I would not count it out just yet, but it has absolutely been on a major pullback. I will admit that part. 50 plus percent declines, but people are buying the dip. I want to know about you. Are you buying the dip on Pepe right now? Let us know. Of course, if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it. Subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a pro. We are here every single day. We are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 everywhere. 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin, and Binance free Discord. And until the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.